Labis ang tuwa at pasasalamat ni Pampanga Beauty Camel Mercado. Siya ang itinanghal na Miss United Continents 2022 noong August 7 sa Ecuador. Ito na ang ikalawang korona na naiuwi ng Pilipinas sa nasabing pageant, kasunod ng panalo ng Bulakenyang si Jesslyn Santos noong 2016. Kilalanin natin ang dalawang Pinay na nagwagayway ng bandera ng Pilipinas sa international pageant stage. Miss United Continents 2022, Camel Mercado at Miss United Continents 2016, Jesslyn Santos. Nasa ring National Director ng Miss United Continents Philippines. Magandang gabi at welcome to the program, guys. Hi, thank you for having us. It is our pleasure. Okay, let's start with you, no, Camel. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, nang napanalunan mo ang corona, it made the Philippines the only country that won two Miss United yes. Continents titles. So, How are you feeling after this historic win at ano na ang pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon? Oh, right after the pageant, um, I mean, right after they announced me as the winner, I can't really process it. So parang hindi ko masyadong ma-feel na I really won mm -hmm. and brought back the crown to the Philippines. But right now, it feels very fulfilling for me that, you know, after six years, I finally brought back the crown, Miss United Continent's crown to the Philippines. Sabi nga nila, it usually takes about 24 hours before it starts to sink in. Totoo ba yan? Sa akin po siguro na process ko lang when I get back. Ah, when you got back. Sa Philippines, when I got back sa Philippines, sa airport. Pero kasi 36 hours yung flight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, sa Instagram post ni Camel, no, isa sa pinakasalamatan niya, si Jesslyn. Mm. Kasi sabi niya, this won't happen without your trust in me. So, pwede mo bang ikwento sa amin, Jesslyn, how did you support Camel in preparing for the pageant? Actually, Camel was so confident and her determination made her win. Mm -hmm. And sabi ko nga, she's really easy to work with because Her dedication to her goals talaga grabe yan si Camel. Kitang-kita ko paano, niya, paano yung hard work niya dito sa ating Miss United Continents na laban sa ating Miss United Continents 2022. And of course, what made me calm and confident that time is yung dineliver na niya yung answer niya mm. in Spanish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that time, and I said, oh, ito na kakoy, mababalik natin ng corona para sa Pilipinas. After six long years, uh -oh. naibalik na ulit natin. And I said, sabi ko parang, Nag-flashback sa akin yung 2016, yung nangyari sa akin, what happened noong 2016 because I delivered my answer in Spanish oh, okay. and also I got the crown and that's also what happened to Camel. She also got the crown and I am really proud of her and I am really happy that we got the crown. Ah, so you were taking notes, ha? Huh? <laughs> so let's talk nga about your winning answer mm -hmm. no, sa Q&A. Maraming napabilib kasi nga nag-Espanyol ka. Uh, matagal ka na bang nag-aaral? Nang Spanish? No, I just studied Spanish when they recruited me to. Oh wow! But uh, it's just self-taught, so I just you know um, watch YouTube. Uh, That's amazing. You are a very talented. <laughs> you're a very talented individual. Sabi mo don sa answer mo, we must come together despite our differences. You mentioned love, mm -hmm. unity, and cultural awareness. So, how will you use your voice right now as Miss United Continents 2022 to advocate for this? Yes. Yes, I think as a Miss United Continents mm -hmm. title holder, your goal is to promote unity across everyone, regardless of their gender, um, regardless of their skin color, culture. And I think that's one defining moment of being a beauty queen. So I think I now have a voice mm -hmm. to for the other people so that Um, they will like so for other people. So they will uh, keep in mind mm -hmm. that to get that in togetherness there is a power. Okay. So what does the what does your reign look like? My your reign like mm -hmm. for this year. Ano yung mga activities mm -hmm. na ka for you? How do you go out um, and push for mm -hmm. your advocacy? Yes, I am now collaborating with the Miss United Continents mm -hmm. Organization in Ecuador. So right now, I'm just waiting for their instruction when they want me to go back to Ecuador to mm. fulfill my duties. Because uh, we have to, I, I, I mean, I have to go back there to do some charity work okay. such as their breast cancer 
uh, survivors. Survive, sur yeah, Patients. one of their advocacies is uh, to support the breast cancer sur survivors in Cuenca, Ecuador. Well, very good advocacy. So, Jesslyn, sa'yo naman, no? ano yung mga maipapayo mo, mo, uh, mo kay Camel uh, for her journey as Miss United Continents? At, you know, bilang ikaw nga, ang kauna-unahang Filipina to win the crown, what is your message din naman sa ating mga aspiring beauty queens? I'm always telling Camel na... Just stay what you are. Stay confident mm -hmm. and beautiful. You know that. And sabi ko nga, stay humble. And mas malayo pa yung mararating mo. And alam ko na kayang-kaya mo every day in life. And pangatawan natin natin crown for the Philippines. Yun. Stay humble and pretty, as always. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Camille, you bested, what, 24 other yes, uh, candidates, candidates for to win the crown? Yeah. Um, what do you think made you stand out? I think what made me stand out is that is the support of my fellow Kababayan mm -hmm. with me. You know, Philippines is considered one of the biggest pageant fan in the world. And knowing that you have that support with you in your journey makes you more confident. Mm -hmm. I think that what made me win. Was there like a fan vote also? or uh, No, there is no fan no. vote. There was no fan vote. So uh, it was all... What, was the, what were some of the activities that you had to go through leading up to the pageant proper? Uh, we, we visited a lot of sponsors and a lo lot of historical mm -hmm. sites and tourist spots in Ecuador and in Puerto Viejo specifically. Oh, wow. So would you like to thank anyone? Um, I'm sure that a lot of people helped you mm -hmm. uh, during your journey to the crown, Ika nga. Yes. First of all, I would like to thank my Miss United Philippines organization headed by Ate Jesseline, Boss Jay, um, Ate Jean, and Kuya Andy because I wouldn't be here without them. And then next, my Pampanga team who's always been there with me and my family and friends, thank you so much. And of course... To, to all the Filipino pageant fans, thank mm -hmm. you so much for supporting me. And lastly, ano yung uh, advice mo para sa ating mga aspiring um, oh. beauty queens? Okay, if I would say one message to the aspiring beauty pageant contestant is that I think to stay true to their core and be authentic because uh, the standard of beauty pageant nowadays, I think, is they're not only basing on your physical mm -hmm. appearance, um, people would want to know you more, yeah. so you have to be confident, you have to have a personality and have a convincing aura. Mm -hmm. And they also have to put in mind, they have to have this mindset that winning is, I mean, um, be prepared of, mm. be, prepare yourself for defeat because winning is not just having a crown in your head. Mm -hmm. Winning can be like... Um, getting to know yourself more mm -hmm. and uh, meeting more people, like building sisterhood, for me, that is the true meaning of winning. That's a good mindset to have, no? Mm -hmm. You go into the competition, not just because you want to be yeah. the winner, but winning in mm -hmm. all aspects yes. of it. So thank you very much for all of your advice. Thank you. And congratulations once again mm -hmm. on all thank you've you. achieved. Maraming salamat once again, Miss United Continents 2022, Kamel Mercado, and Miss United Continents Philippines National Director, Jesslyn Santos. Yan ang malalaking balita ngayong araw ng linggo. Ako si Mencio Makapagal. Manatiling may alam at manatiling ligtas.